14 points for Pepperdine. Largest lead, Stacey Davis has nine of it in the early going. Well, I saw that first one go through the net from three and didn't hesitate. The great kick out find from Major and Stacey Davis. We talked about it, the ability to do damage inside and out. And he is certainly getting it done here today. But Joel, that last play was the defense leading the offense. Major doing a terrific job with the steal in transition, finding the open Oden behind the arc. And Coach Whitford had to burn a timeout and regroup this Ball State Cardinals right now. Pepperdine is so long at the one, two, and three spots. They go 6'3", six, 6'4", six, 6'5". Six, they just jumped the passing lane so well. That's what had James Whitford really concerned coming in. That's what led to that three into the timeout for Olden. Bo Calhoun cannot answer Stacey Davis from three, but the O-board and Ryan Weber now has seven points. Well, Weber got the put back credit to freshman. Trey Moses kept that alive with the little tap. Got to find an answer on defense. Pepperdine, 60%. No question about it. A lot of those in transition, six points off of four Cardinal turnovers. Firing inside. Edwards missing point blank. Little sloppy. Football stayed able to regroup. And again, even though Pepperdine didn't make the basket, you could see how adept Stacy Davis is of passing out of the double team and finding the open man. Yapway got open. And Trey Moses is going to the free throw line. The aggression of the freshman big man to rip that board down. Two possessions in a row. Moses doing a good job. Most rebounds come off the weak side, going up strong. And now to the free throw line where it's been an adventure for the freshman, Joel. Just 12 for 28, 42% on the season. He is a 90% free throw shooter in practice. Ball State charts all of those things, so just between the ears. Well, there's no question about it. It's a little bit different when the lights go on, but certainly seeing one go through helps your confidence. Almost got them both. Ball State is back within 11. What have you seen half-court defense-wise from Ball State? Well, I'll tell you, I mean, Davis has been the guy. you got to simply push him off of that three-point line for him to knock down three triples early on. There you see, the line, yeah. That's a shot that you'll give. A little step back. Calhoun contested that a lot more. You could tell at the timeout. Coach Whiff was saying, look, guys, as you've seen the scout report, he's capable. You've got to get a hand on him. Inside for Moses. A little bit forced. Weber there. And one. Right place, right time for Ryan Weber. Well, it certainly was. And... That's what we talked about, finishing with contact, the strength. Joel, when Weber arrived here from Youngstown State, they have a physical test where you have to bench press 185. He could not do it one time. Here he is, take, talk about taking advantage of that year where he redshirted. He's now, he can do it eight times. So certainly strength plays a big part in his game. He has the ability to shoot the three, but can also finish in traffic. The foul on Olden was his second. He goes out. Ball State has reinserted Franco House with two fouls here. Six minute mark in the first half. And Edwards able to pretty easily run by him there. He was so athletic, but that's two today where he hasn't been able to finish when he got right to the rim. Kiapwe. What a great look. You're not going to fault your team at all if you're James Whitford. That was good offense. No question about it. Terrific extra pass by Ryan Weber. He had an opportunity. Passed it up for a better shot. Double dribble. Tough couple of series for Cameron Edwards. Turnover number two for Pepperdine. Well, and Edwards is going to come out. A.J. LaPre in. And we talked, Joel, about Coach Whitford rolling the dice, playing Franco House in the first half with those two fouls. That's exactly what you have right now. So if you're Ball State, you got 5.35 to go. You don't want to see House pick up that third. Try to get him going a little bit offensively. No points. His two fouls were cheapies, too. So you kind of have to be careful as far as that is concerned. Niall Smith. Jeremiah Davis and Niall Smith have hit threes for Ball State today. 
two of the Cardinals three from deep, and neither one is a go-to shooter. Boy, I tell you, you just certainly don't expect it. And you can kind of see, I mean, this is a team that are almost begging him to shoot that. Since Coach Whitford called that timeout, Cardinals on a 9 to nothing run. Certainly paid dividends. Good use of the timeout. Back within five. There's the prey, the Oregon transfer. Boy, you look at the bench and the energy defensively is picked up right now. Davis can't contort. Another rebound for Ball State. Cardinals are plus three on the glass. And House is in a war. He got all tied up underneath with Jet Reigns. He almost elbowed Reigns in the face, but that's only because Reigns had his arm locked well, in Houdini. Watch, this, watch this, this position that Franco has, and he's calling for the basketball. Smith didn't see him. Reigns and House battling on the block. Reigns with the foul. Cardinals in the bonus. It will be a second for Franco House. That is his first point. And what a luxury. The guy that gets to the line the most for Ball State. That's his 37th free throw attempt where he shoots 75%. Free throw line has been kind. Ball State four of five. Pepperdine has hit its only two. And all of a sudden, a 14-point Pepperdine lead is now three. Ball State has not led today. And watch the matchup, Sellers on Murray. Lamont Murray, only four points. Reigns can't get the three. 25% from behind the arc. Cardinals have numbers. Davis real slow to get back. Niall Smith into the lane. Quick trigger, Tyler. Pepperdine is great defending the three. Ball State might be better shooting it when it's got its mojo. Well, Joel, that was a point of emphasis to the shoot around. They do such a good job guarding the perimeter. The thought was put it on the deck, get to the paint, and then kick for the open three. And that's what you saw last possession. Udini, the three is out, and a foul underneath on Pepperdine. And is that going to be on Davis? I believe it is. It's a push on Stacey Davis. The 14-point Pepperdine lead gone. 